Who are you voting for in 2016? What do you think of Hillary running Hillary. for president? Yeah? Yeah, a woman could do it. You think it's time? If I see it, it it's not that it's time. It's, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I see my mama raise five boys. Hard. Super hard. Like five jobs. So women could do the same thing could do. I just feel like when it's time of, time of that month, they didn't get the out of office. Nah, I was just playing. Nah, but I, we need change, man. You should help Hillary campaign. I feel like you could offer her some good stunts. Yeah, why she not? She should help me with my album. I think you guys could team up and make this happen. Hey, she gonna push Facavelli? She <laughs> did what I'm saying? I can't wait. All right, ladies and gentlemen, happy Friday, and it's a good day for Hillary. Waka Flocka says she should be president of the United States. And the reason? He watched his mother or grandmother, whoever he said, raise five kids. Hey, that's, that qualifies Hillary to me. <laughs> oh, boy. Waka flocka. Never thought I'd lead off the show with a waka flocka soundbite. But, yeah, you live and learn, and you never know. It's the unpredictability of this show that makes it what it is. Um, all right, uh, folks. Um, the New York Times, speaking of in, uh, improbability and unpredictability, the New York Times editorial, candidate Clinton and the foundation. The foundation. The Clinton, let me, let me be correct, the Bill and Hillary and Chelsea Foundation. They do such good work. I don't know what they do. Uh, there's been reports recently that uh, a, a much against other charity foundations, a much smaller than normal percentage of the money they take in actually goes to charity. And a much higher percentage, the report that I saw indicated, goes to things like travel, unmentioned or un, 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 unspecified expenses, and salaries, etc. So let's see how much and what percentage of the money that the Clintons take in for their charity and foundation. Let's see how much of it goes to help people. And what exactly has it done? What exactly has it done? Ladies and gentlemen, when the New York Times says that Hillary has to provide answers. That's why you read stories about the Democrats starting to panic and O'Malley starting to feel his oats a little bit. It's only natural. How could she survive this? Uranium Gate, Columbia. And now we have also word that 22 of the 37 corporations, 32, uh, 22, 22 of the 37 corporations nominated for a prestigious State Department award and six of the eight ultimate winners, while Hillary was Secretary of State, were contributors to the Clinton Foundation. Do you smell it? You, you smell how that stinks? It stinks. My gosh, it's unethical at the very least. Conflict of interest? Appearances? She's going to be president of the United States of America? She's the most qualified, the only person, the best person? My God, she's probably, by, by virtue of all these things, the, the most disqualified person. Unbelievable. I mean, Mitt Romney had a binder full of women, and that made him, you know, and he was rich. Evil, unqualified, qualified. How dare he? But this with Hillary? I'm telling you, I can't. Could you get this out of here? Because but, still stinks. It'll stink no matter where it goes. Unbelievable. What? What can I tell you? What can I tell you? Trustworthiness, honest and trustworthy. The Fox News poll has her in the 40s. Um, the 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 mid 40s. The Quinnipiac poll also has her deeply underwater. Americans don't believe that Hillary Clinton is trustworthy and honest. You know why? Because in my opinion, she's not trustworthy and honest. My God, what's wrong with this country? I, I don't know what, I, you know I say this every day. If we had an honest media, she'd be run out of town. They'd laugh for, you're going to run for president? You're going to make, you're going to make an issue of this now. Are we falling into the trap? 
Is all this being exposed now and Hillary's going to ignore it? And then a year from now, she's going to say, oh, that's old news. We better not be. That better not be the case. Whoever the Republican candidate is had better put this in the vault, in the bank, and bring it up at every debate, at every opportunity, because I've never seen anything like this. There's never been a presidential candidate with this kind of conflict of interest and baggage. Never. Never. All right, folks. Sean Davis of TheFederalist.com will join us next. More Hillary. Don't go away.